Hi friends! Today we'll be learning another property of whole numbers, which is distributed property of multiplication over addition. So, let's start! Here we have a simple multiplication problem. We have to multiply 25 with 63. So, we will write the two numbers one below the other, and what will we do? We will first multiply 3 with 25, and we will get 75. Now we will put a cross or a zero below the product at the ones place, and then we will multiply 6 with 25, and write the product down here. We get 150. Now we will add the two products to get 1575. So what do we do? For multiplying 25 with 3 plus 60 as in 63, we multiply 25 with 3, and we multiply 25 with 60, and then we add their product. So this is what is called as distributive property of multiplication over addition, as in taking this example. 25 multiplied by 3 plus 60 is the same as 25 times 3 plus 25 times 60, and this is often done for our convenience. Let's see how. We have to multiply 235 by 125. Now, let's see how we multiply using the column method. Let's revise. We will write the numbers one below the other. Now, we will multiply 235 with the one digit of 125, or the number which is written below 235. And now we will get 1175. Now, we'll put a zero below, and now we will multiply 235 with the 10 digit of number, as in 2. We will get 470. We will write it here. Now you will put two zeros below, and now we will multiply 235 with 1, and we will get 235. Now, what will we be doing? We will be adding these products, and adding these three products, we will get 29,375. So what do we do in this column method of multiplication? We multiply 235 with the 5, we then multiply 235 with 20, and then we multiply 235 with 100, and then we added the three products. To sum all that up, we multiply 235 by 5 plus 20 plus 100, as in 125. By multiplying 235 with 5, 20, and 100 separately, and then adding the products. So, from these two equations, you can see that 235 times 5 plus 235 times 20 plus 235 times 100 is the same as 235 times 5 plus 20 plus 100. So, this is what is called distributed property of multiplication over addition. Family spends $500 for grocery and $800 for house rent every month. So, how much money do they spend in 8 months on these two things? We have to calculate. So, we have to multiply 800 plus 500 by 8. And we learned that 800 plus 500 times 8 is the same as multiplying 8 with 500 and multiplying 8 with 800 and then adding the sum. Multiply 500 with 8. You get 4,000. Now, multiply 800 by 8, you get 6,400. Now add the two products, you will get 10,400. We have to multiply 15 and 35 using this property. Now let's split 35 as 30 plus 5 for our convenience. So we have to multiply 15 with 30 plus 5, and we know we can write it as 15 times 30 plus 15 times 5. 15 times 3 is 45, add a 0. We get 450, and 15 into 5 is 60. So 45 plus 60 equals 510. So we have multiplied 15 and 35 using this property. Here we have another example. We have to multiply 110 by 125. So we split 125 as 100 plus 20 plus 5 for our convenience. 
So we have to multiply 110 with 100 plus 20 plus 5. And using the property over addition, we can write it as 110 times 100 plus 110 times 20 plus 110 times 5. This is the distributivity of multiplication over addition. And multiplying 110 with 100, we get 11,000. Multiplying 110 with 20, we will get 2,200. And multiplying 110 with 5, we'll get 550. Adding these, we get 13,750. So we have multiplied 110 with 125 using the property. And now we have to multiply 23 and 67. We will be using this property. Let 67 be 60 plus 7. Now, what will we be writing? We will write 23 times 60 plus 23 times 7. So that is, we will be separately. We will multiply each separately and then add the sum. Now, 23 times 60. Let's split this problem further. We will be writing 20 plus 3 times 60. Again, using the property 20 times 60 plus 60 times 3. We will get 1,200 plus 180. 1,200 plus 180 is 1,380. So 23 times 60 is 1,380. On the other side, we have to multiply 23 with 7. We will also do this using the property. We will write 23 as 20 plus 3. We have to multiply 7 with 20 plus 3. So we will be multiplying 7 with 20, 7 with 3, and then we'll add the products. That is, 7 times 20 is 140, and 7 times 3 is 21. This equals 161. So we got 23 times 7 as 161. Now add the two products. We will get 1,541. So this is the product of 23 and 67 that we calculated without using any column method. So friends, this was the distributivity of multiplication over addition. Now let's learn another property of whole numbers, which is identities of whole numbers, as in the additive identity of whole numbers and multiplicative identity of whole numbers. Additive identity of whole numbers and the numbers which when added to a number gives the same number for all whole numbers. This additive identity is zero. As in, adding zero to any whole number will give the same whole number. Eight plus zero is eight. Nine plus zero is nine. Six plus zero is six. Twenty-three plus zero is twenty-three. So zero is the additive identity for whole numbers. Now what is the multiplicative identity? A number that when multiplied to a number gives the same number is called as multiplicative identity. And for whole numbers, this is 1. 8 times 1 is 8. 7 times 1 is 7. 20 times 1 is 20. So any number multiplied with 1 is the same number. So 1 is a multiplicative identity for whole numbers. So friends, we have learned two properties of whole numbers. Number 1, the distribution property of addition over whole numbers. And the identities of whole numbers.